And the crane that is on the other side is the one that's going to have Tony's aircraft hanging from it. Now this one here is probably not going to have anything hanging on it. However, because it doesn't have something hanging on it, it doesn't pull the easy line straight. You'll notice it straightens out when I put a little bit of a pull on it. So I'm just wondering, can we have it positioned in such a, in such a way that we could have a, a line coming down onto something that looks believable? Like maybe one of the lifeboats over here? No, nope, that's not going to work. Now, of course, in, in real life, they, to get this, this hook back this way, they just raise this boom up. But uh, we can't do that because it's all fastened. It's all glued together here and the lines are adjusted to the right length. So we've got to leave that. Okay, so we can forget about the lifeboats. Or... Uh, Okay, there, there's going to be a turret right here. Could there possibly be something on top of the turret? I don't know what though. A lifeboat or one of these one of these yellow life rafts? I do have some extras if I'm not mistaken. Might be a thought. We'll just see we'll just uh, we won't do anything until we get to the end here after all the turrets are in place and we might think of something that so it'll look realistic. In the meantime, we'll I don't know if I should leave it there, or maybe I should take it off for the dusting. And once again, I have to carefully get a hold of it, just use my fingers. There we go. We are at sort of a milestone now in the build. And uh, we're at the point where uh, there's nothing else that I can put on the ship except for the flagstaffs at the ends, like for the for the ensign flag and so on. And uh, they can't be put on as long as it's lowered down like this in the cradle. Then we've got these little pieces here that broke off a long time ago, all by themselves, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, I can't put them on without raising it up. They go on the bottom of these little ladders that go down the side of the ship. So I'm just wondering right now if I was to take these, side, these, these sides off, which uh, have helped tremendously to keep me from smashing over the railing, I'm sure. Um, maybe we're at the point now where uh, these could come off and let's see if we can repair these. Uh, well, I'll just take them off and I'll show you. Heaven forbid I use a real screwdriver. Okay. Little platforms. I broke both of them off. And then we've got a, a bullard from over here on this side. Somewhere. I think it came from right there. A few minutes ago I was outside and I was talking to my neighbor and... Uh, he was standing with his back to his house, and I was facing his house, and the sun was, you know, bouncing off his, the outside of his house and into my eyes, and I was kind of squinting and wiping my eyes, and uh, he says, does uh, the bright light bother your eyes? And I was saying, uh, no, it, it better not, because there's a lot of bright light over my model table. And then I got to thinking about it. How bright is it on my model table in comparison to if I was outside doing this and the sun was shining overhead? And then I thought, well, you know, I can easily figure that out. And there is a way. Okay, let's see now. What is going to happen if we use our spotlight and increase the, the light right here? Okay, the ISO was at 640, right now it's dropped down to 250. In order for it to be as bright as sunlight, it would have to drop all the way down to 100. It's uh, known as the sunny 16 uh, theory, if you're a camera buff you know what I'm talking about. 
Well, it's not a theory, it's a fact. Um, Two hundred. Okay, I got it at, at 200 right now. So in other words, if the sun was shining on that spot right there where the lens is looking, um, I can't work and talk at the same time. But the, the, uh, if, the, if the sun was shining, it would be twice as bright as what we had with my spotlight, which is actually quite, quite bright. Um, I find the strangest things interesting. Bear with me, we'll get back to the ship. Oh my. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit silly right now because right after I did that test I went to use my spotlight again just now. Let's see if I can push this ahead just a little. And I'm noticing on the back the uh, adjustment for the intensity. And I thought, I wonder, did I have it turned up all the way? I did not have it turned up all the way. And when I turned it all the way to the right, the intensity very noticeably increased. So I think it's probably safe to say that in all likelihood, if I have my uh, spotlight within six inches of whatever it is I want to illuminate, I can probably make it almost as bright as... I'll get it almost as bright as uh, direct sunlight on a bright day outside. But anyway, let's see if we can't just... See, that has to go on the bottom there like that. Obviously, I can't hold it with my finger. Well, like this, maybe. Okay, so if I could... Now, we've, we've done this before. There's, a, what is there, six or eight of these uh, gangways that go down the side? I think there's six. Three on each side. And uh, so we've done this at least six times. So this is nothing new. I just sort of wedge it in there in the right place. We'll put the macro lens on, and I'll figure out a way of holding this up. Now, it had been my plan to uh, try and be funny and use one of Ian's hands to hold this up, but it just wasn't working right. Then I thought, well, maybe I can wedge this in place and just the friction will hold it right. And clearly that didn't work. Now, I want to get these fractures back exactly the same way. Sort of like setting a broken bone, if you know what I mean. I think I can get it. Probably going to have to move the camera out of my way to get it. Okay, I think we're going to have to forget about matching the fractures, and I'm going to have to remove this old CA glue here. And this one here. Try and get in there and not block your vision. Just sort of break it off. I press up against it here with my... Did I get it? No, just maybe a tiny bit more there. I'm going to have to repaint a lot of places, and this is one of them. Now, I want to be careful that I don't accidentally unhook it right here, because it's hard to get that little tiny hook back in that little tiny hole. Okay, it's not perfect, but every time I try to make it perfect, it gets worse. So I'm going to try and glue it on the one closest to the hole first. Now this is the CA medium. And is it filling in the crack there? I don't want it to go all the way down and... Oh, that's probably way too much. 
Well, maybe after I paint it, it won't. Don't bump anything now. Okay, let's uh, let's let that cure. I wonder if I should try and do the other side now, or maybe. No, let's just let that cure. I'm wondering if we can use one of Tennessee Jim's Q-tips here to absorb some of that excess. Or am I just going to spread it around and make it worse? I'm probably uh, ruining the pattern of the of the grid on the bottom. Once it's painted over, it'll look okay. In the meantime, once again, let's just let that cure. Yeah, I got some curing agent on the end of the holder down here. Yeah, now my guess is it's cured. Can we slide this back? Or is it going to stick? No, it's not. That's good. Just lower it down a little bit. Now I'd like to, if I could manage to get that forced up. Whoop, I'm kinking our uh, cable that's holding it up here. It could be that, th that this uh, stringer here is as far down as it's going to go. In that case, I may as well have just glued them both at the same time. My hope was that I could squeeze this connection together a little bit more. Okay, let's try and put a little less on if possible. Is that going to wick its way into the crack? It might. And a touch of curing agent here. And this curing agent evaporates so quickly. Okay, a couple of minutes has passed here. I think we can probably push this down and away. Does that look like it's solidified? Oh yeah. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one much the same way. I'm glad I don't have to redo all six of them because this, this is, <laughs> once again, took longer and was harder than I thought. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and we'll take a look at it after. It is 20 to 2 already. Where has the day gone? Now I'm hoping this gray that I've selected here is very similar to what we already had on there. I just want to get rid of that glinting CA glue. I know it looks shiny right now what we're putting on, but I do believe that once it uh, dries, it should uh, flatten out and we won't see anything. Whoops. Wonder if I can wipe that off. out again. Not the nice long video like we had yesterday, but we got closer to the end here. Little by little we're getting it. 
And tomorrow, all being well, we'll be putting on that fair lead that got broken off. It's on the other side. But I think I'm probably going to have to raise the entire ship up just a little bit. I'd like to leave it in the cradle because I like to, uh, you know, hang on to the cradle to spin it around. Um, I think there's less chance of me damaging it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.